Many thanks to your company again. Uh, before I start pine, let's just quickly whiz through the colours. We've got ultramarine, cad yellow, pines grey, lizard crimson, raw sienna, and umber, and light red. Well, I'm not sure what's happened to that road. That's, I've never had that happen before. It's still, it, it, it hasn't dried, and it's still, it's still sticky. I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. Main brush is the large one, Ransonaker. I'm using 15 by 11 Fabriano. Just kick off with a big brush and just wet the paper all the way over first, and then I'll take a little bit of raw sienna. Actually, just dip the hairs into the water just to bring it all back together. A little bit of raw sienna, a bit of cad yellow. Let's just get some. Vague background colour in there, sort of with the green of the leaves and things. A bit of cad yellow, ultramarine. That's maybe a bit more green. Eh? You know, so I'm preserving a sort of white area. Well, I'm not touching the paper so much. That will act as our light source. A bit more water, it's gone a little bit dry. I'm just going to brush this in from either side. It's meant to leave a little bit more light, but I can live with that, not too much. Not too, uh, not too worry too much. Leave things up there. A little bit, of, a little bit of glue to that. Right, now let's pop some trees in. So, just got a bit of brown, a bit of blue, a bit of yellow, a bit more water. And I'm just popping, popping in some distant trees. Just keep reloading the brush, same mix. A few more over on this side. Now I didn't wet the paper as much this time. Now, that wasn't intentional. I think I was rushing too much. So it's, it's starting to dry. A lot quicker than normal, so these are going on a little bit stronger than I intended. That's not a problem. Let's pop a few more in down there. I'm going to just pop a few in, a few tweaks and things, a few growing over the, the lighter areas down there. A few more tweaks of branches around the top section. Right, then I'm going to switch. Back to the height brush, just dip the tips of the hairs into the water just to bring all the hairs together so it's a nice chisel edge. And I'm going to start putting on the second layer of trees. So it's going to come right down there. Now we've got water down here, so I'm just popping in some reflections as I as I go along. Another one there. Reflection goes in. Another one down there, another reflection. They're all a bit symmetrical, so I'm just going to cut one straight across there. Again, cut one across there. Let's go slightly further back. Um, let's pop some on this side as well. So I'm thinking just slightly further away. That one's cutting across there. Put that reflection in. A few little branches coming off those ones, so mix that same brown, yellow, bit of green in there as well. And we're going to come in straight up there, a few across there, and a few down there, growing all over the place. Just about to see some of those reflected down below. That's someone else growing over there. Tweaks on this one. Got something growing up there, a little bit smaller. This thing. Pop the reflection down. Right in. I just want to. Before I do any more, I'm just going to dry this brush. Take the rest of the water off on the tea towel. I'm just going to 
gonna take a bit of just a bit of yellow. I'm just gonna mark in, try and work out now where this lamb's going. Oops. Took some of that raw cedar by mistake, but don't know. It's quite, quite dry this brush, so I'm just going to go straight on with these leaves, I think. Give it starting to that cad yellow. Back in there. Do the light ones first. And a little bit of ultramarine. That's going to darken these leaves up a little bit, see? It's quite a dry brush, so I'm not painting over too much of the background. You can still see through the trees. Now the paper stretched a little bit. You can see it coming away from the board. So I'm just going to pull it so it's flat against this easel again. Just using the clips there. And then I might put them on it again. So. I'm going to add the third and final layer of the tree, so I've just dipped the corner of the brush in just to bring all the edge back together, just like that. So we've got a nice chisel edge, I'm just getting a bit of brown, a bit of blue, a bit of green in there as well. I'm going to do the, the strongest, strongest one, now I'm thinking Uh, where should we put it now? Do we want one? We should put the strongest ones. Let's have one there like that. I'll do the reflection down there. I'm going to stick a big one in up there like that. Leave that reflection down there. And we'll have one more, I think, on the left. Just slightly higher up, slightly smaller. some limbs on this so that's just coming down there cutting straight across the light area down there Not doing it on the other side there. A dry brush there let's just loosen that up a bit with some water Made a mess of that, it's going to keep this a big, big branch. Let's widen that a little bit. A little bit's coming off there. We need a deeper, wider bit there. Now, I just want to darken these banks a little bit. So I'm just going to just make them a little bit more obvious. Overdone it, just paint over some of them. Little bank up there, a little bit fader because it's further away. And then we need some some muddy bits down there. Let's trim some nice big dollops of raw sienna. A few more leaves, I think. In fact, let's, uh, let's have a few things close as well while we're at it. Just a bit of brown, bit of, bit of blue. And just a quick dab in the raw sand just for a look. Um, 
two draw. Grain that slight baby with some something there just for a right, more leaves. So I'm gonna make it a few more darker leaves up there I think. So I've just scuffed it up with the uh, tea towel. I'm doing cad yellow, a bit of burnt umber. Um, ultramarine rather. shadows in there so a bit more water just make up a shadowy colour it's predominantly brown and blue it can be a bit more scientific than what I am I just I just guess a lot of the time um, Shadows, right? It's uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that the light's coming sort of in this direction from up here, and it's just coming diagonally down, sort of five o'clock, something like that. Um, so let's just cut across there like that, and these shadows go into this water. Some shadows from things up there. Continuing this, these are in shadow there. So a few more shadows coming from up there. Just cutting across. This looks slightly too dark, but I'm, I'm just going to go with it. See what it looks like. There's a few sh shadowy things. Coming on up there. Some shadows in these bushes. I'm going to scrape into these rocks, I think. Clean the brush. Just get a nice damp, clean damp brush. So just a nice chisel edge damp brush. I'm just gonna, just gonna come out on some of this. on the water. Bring that across there like that. A few more on the left hand side. See if I can get away with not cleaning the cleaning it. So it's like ripples cutting through. The reflections and shadows. Really, I should have cleaned the brush. Does that look any better? I'm not too sure. Um, we need a figure. I'm going to go nice bright red. 
so it stands out and it's just going to be somewhere about there I think bit of blue having fishing so we've got a, a rod some something like that um, let's get those reflections down below so a slight reflection there to give the impression of the mix make the water a little bit more realistic uh, some little birds up there and then last but not least I'm just going to stick me name where should we put it somewhere somewhere down there don't know if the mate's going to cover that up we'll have to have a look okay let's see what it looks like with the mounts on it this is the uh, painting with the mounts on so we're going to have a closer look at it if I'm honest, I don't like it. I don't think it's works. And I, th I think the main reason what that I can think of is this raw sienna. Because it's so sticky, I don't know why it's done that. It's, it's gone really watery. And so I'm, I can't, normally I whiz around the palette with my brush. And I'm, because I'm so conscious of picking up great big dollops of paints, I feel inhibited with the, with the paint mixes. And I think that's sort of, that's, all, that's the only reason I can think of. It, it hasn't just doesn't quite work for me. But anyway, if we if we have a look at it, um, you see what I've tried to preserve this light area. Uh, I, I didn't get it in the water, so that was the first problem. There's no reflection of the lights. There's a little bit here, but uh, not too much. The trees. See where I put the first layer in. They've sort of faded away. Um, nicely into the distance. I think another problem was I, I just didn't wet the paper enough as well. Um, but anyway, so that was the first layer. Then we've got a slightly thicker mix for the sort of middle layer and then the strong foreground trees framed here. Um, incidentally, I've, I've, another thing I've noticed, I've missed the uh, reflection in the water of that one. Whoops. But Unfortunately, and it's right where my, my name is as well. I'd have to paint over my name, so I'm just going to forget about that for the time being. Broke up these river banks a little bit with a few rock scrapes here and there. Tried to get the impression of the sort of light coming through, just catching the left hand edge of these rocks with the right hand in shadow. Bit of dry brushwork with the hake. Um, first with cad yellow for the lighter leaves, then added a bit of ultramarine to darken them a bit. Bit untidy as well with the uh, the fence posts. I've got this habit on a hill. For some reason, I keep forgetting to put them upright. I sort of the hill goes up like that, and I've put them on up diagonally. Where like, they should be vertical, the fence posts. But I'll remember that for next time. And then finally, got a little fisherman there on the corner of the riverbed trying to catch his fish. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Um, keep practicing. Uh, join me on over on Patreon if you want to watch more videos. Um, so until next time, uh, happy painting and uh, I'll see you again soon.